The Rimrock Drive is one of the most scenic drives and bicycle rides in the United States. A 23 mile journey through the towering heights of the Colorado National Monument. And today we're gonna stop at the viewpoints and check out the diverse landscape of red rock canyons, cliffs, vistas, and monoliths. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. This is part of our America's Grandest Canyons Road Trip series, where we traveled cross country to explore the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Glen Canyon, Palo Duro Canyon, and more. Stay tuned for more videos in our evolving trip playlist. For this drive, you can enter near Fruta to the west or Grand Junction to the east. We began near Fruta because we heard the views were better. This is not only a great drive for vehicles, but is very popular among cyclists as well. This is the first scenic point where you're standing on the Redlands Fault, a break in the Earth's crust. This cyclist was a beast. He didn't really stop at the viewpoints, but he kept up with us for most of the drive and we are probably half his age. I felt so lazy every time he passed us. Balanced Rock was temporarily closed for construction when we were there. Here's a photo though, so you know what to look for. You'll hit two tunnels right near the beginning as well. It's a 16 foot clearance, so be careful. The next stop overlooks the Grand Valley and the Colorado River, and you can see the road below that you came up from. The distant view also provides a nice view across the Grand Valley, the book cliffs in the distance, and a closer look at the Colorado River. This viewpoint showcases Fruity Canyon and you can see just how high you've gone in such a short time across the Rim Rock Drive below. There's that cyclist beast again. Shortly after a few of these viewpoints, you can check out the visitor center. But even if you don't, make sure to check out the great view on the other side of it. The Rim Canyon Trail, one of the 14 trails in the park, starts here. Not all viewpoints are created equally. Independence Monument is a 450 foot high monolith and the largest freestanding rock formation in the park. You can see it several other times while driving, but this is probably the best view. While we didn't see any rock climbers while there, it is a popular climbing destination as well. Grandview, the next viewpoint, might be the best view in the park. You will get a nice view of the Grandview Spire, a 400 foot sandstone pillar, also popular with rock climbers, and a view of Fruita Canyon, as well as the book cliffs and the Grand Mesa in the distance. This one has a very nice overlook too. Monument Canyon is a prominent overlook since it showcases the longest of the ravines in the park and you can see Independence Monument and many other named rock formations. 
like the kissing couple. The Coke ovens are colorful rock domes created by ice, water, and wind, and are a sign of a more advanced stage of erosion. They are named after their resemblance to Coke ovens, where coal was converted to Coke. Not the drug, but the type of fuel. You can walk out on this cool overlook as well. Artist Point is a nice overlook with lots of colors and a good view of the Book Cliffs and Grand Mesa. Despite being the highest overlook, this spot wasn't that great since the views were obscured. If you're looking to skip one or some, this is a good choice. In addition to the cool view, can you spot the outline of the Egyptian mummy among the vertical cliff walls? There it is. Susie's being so good here in the back seat. Aren't you, buddy? This viewpoint is famous for the giant slab that fell below from erosion and flooding and is limply resting on its side. This one has nice views of Grand Junction, steep walls, and is a good example of a canyon within a canyon. This is the final viewpoint of the drive, and you get a nice overlook of Columbus Canyon where you can see into the canyon below more directly. Pretty remarkable what a bunch of government agencies and hand tools could accomplish in the 1930s. Have you checked out this engineering marvel? Let us know in the comments what your favorite spot is. Otherwise, stay tuned for the final episode of this massive three-week road trip, our day at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. If you follow us here, you know it is a completely different type of video you will normally see from us. So hopefully you'll check it out. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.